Hello YouTube, uh, I got a request to show how the very cool strap button system on the Gretsch guitars works. Uh, this comes on most of the Gretsches, uh, all the electromatics I think. Anyway, you can see it's a, uh, it's a barrel style uh, strap button that a strap obviously wouldn't fit uh, very easily over. But what's cool about this is this piece actually screws off if you've never seen how this works before. And it leaves a little stud affixed to the bow of the guitar. And so, obviously you're seeing where this goes. Uh, and what I've got here is one of the very cool uh, Gretsch uh, uh, leather straps. Uh, Gretsch offers this in several different colors. They've got a bunch of different varieties of straps. You can check all that out on the accessory page of the Gretsch website. Uh, pretty cool accessory to have with a Gretsch guitar. But you can see that the, the strap uh, hole and the strap, the barrel on the strap button are just about, well, they are exactly perfect, perfectly sized for each other. And this piece fits right down into here. It's just a perfect fit. It's not too tight, but it's not too loose. You can see on the other side, it's nice and flush. And so when I screw this onto the guitar, and I'm going to be careful not to pinch the strap between the, the strap button and the guitar. So that when I'm done, I snug it up not too tight. You'll see that there's just a good free range of motion with the strap, and I'm not putting any effort into that. And it's not wanting to catch on the strap, uh, the strap button, or the body of the guitar. Now, if the strap is too thick, if you if you have the strap sandwiched between the strap button and the guitar, you can actually uh, maybe have some problems with that. And I'm gonna put in a short clip of a video I did uh, showing the Fender strap block system, which is a similar principle to this. It's those little rubber washers uh, that uh, that fit. Uh, you put the strap on, and they fit over the strap button to sort of hold the strap in place. But I'm gonna show what can happen if the strap is a little bit too thick with those. So you can see what's happening here. Um, I'm going to tighten. I'm going to tighten this up uh, all the way, I mean, about as tight as I'd want to get this, right? And because the rubber from the little string, uh, a strap lock, is catching on the uh, strap button, it starts to turn it. You can see now it's already turning. You see this? Is that showing up? You can see the screw head turning. So what's going to happen is it's just going to keep turning this thing and work itself out. So anyway, you can see it's important uh, that you don't have the, the strap pinch between the guitar and the strap button because I think the same thing's going to happen with this. And I've heard of people having problems with these coming unscrewed uh, as they're using the strap, maybe at a gig or whatever, and they're moving around. And again, I think if the strap is too thick, that could be an issue. So you're going to want to make sure the strap is not too thick where it attaches to the guitar. I'm going to compare that to just a garden variety Fender nylon strap. You can see the Fender strap would be fine. It's actually a little bit thinner than the Gretsch strap. Now the diameter of the hole is a little bit smaller, so the pin is going to want to fit in there pretty tight. I think that's going to open itself up over a little bit of time, but that's another issue. You want to make sure that the hole is not too tight so that it's catching on the strap pin. So anyway, uh, again, with the right strap, I think this is a pretty pretty cool system. Uh, if anybody out there is using this strap system, maybe they're gigging with it uh, and it's working well for them, it's not working well, what kind of strap they're using, have you had straps that didn't work well, that did work well, uh, go ahead and post a comment. It would be helpful. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking the video out and uh, see you next time.